Celine Dion, born 30 March 1968, is a Canadian singer. At 55, Celine Dion has mobility difficulties and other disease-related issues from the illness disrupting her daily life. All of her future tours and performances might never happen as her health is getting worse. Although her disease is incurable, she has three sons supporting whom she had with her late husband. Referred to as the Queen of Power Ballads, she is noted for her powerful and technically skilled vocals. Her music has incorporated genres such as pop, rock, R&B, gospel, and classical music. Her recordings have been mainly in English and French, although she has also sung in Spanish, Italian, German, Latin, Japanese, and Chinese. Born into a large family in Charlemagne, Quebec, Diane was discovered by her future manager and husband René Angelil and emerged as a teen star in her home country with a series of French-language albums during the 1980s. She gained international recognition by winning the 1988 Eurovision Song Contest, where she represented Switzerland with Ni Partis Pas Sans Moi. Her debut English-language album, Unison, 1990, established her as a viable pop artist primarily in North America and several English-speaking markets, while The Color of My Love, 1993, gave her global superstardom. Diane continued her success throughout the 1990s with several of the best-selling English-language albums in history, such as Falling Into You, 1996, and Let's Talk About Love, 1997, which were certified diamond in the U.S. with more than 30 million sales worldwide each. She also released a series of international number one hits, including The Power of Love, Think Twice, Because You Loved Me, It's All Coming Back to Me Now, I'm Your Angel, I'm Alive, and her signature song, My Heart Will Go On, the theme for the 1997 film Titanic, which solidified her popularity. According to a source, Celine Dion has trouble walking at age 55 and may not tour again as her health deteriorates. At 55, Celine Dion experiences mobility concerns in addition to other diseases-related problems that interfere with her day-to-day -day activities. With her deteriorating health, all of her upcoming tours and concerts might never take place. She is supported by her three boys, whom she had with her late husband, despite the fact that her sickness is incurable. The well-known singer Celine Dion has been struggling with Stiff Person Syndrome SPS, a rare autoimmune neurological condition that causes muscular stiffness and severely restricts mobility. With her fans, the performer has been open and honest about her health, keeping them informed of the disease's development and its implications for her career. Despite the fact that the illness seems to be progressing without stopping, Celine hasn't given up yet. The singer is 55 years old and has a variety of crippling ailments, all of which keep her from singing as she used to. She hopes there is a way to keep doing what she loves despite the fact that things appear hopeless. According to a close friend of Celine who talked with people, the singer's illness is becoming worse over time but she has assembled a skilled team of medical experts to assist her discover methods to continue performing. She is currently unable to move freely and is in a lot of discomfort, nevertheless. Fortunately, Celine has her three sons, Nelson Angelil, Eddie Angelil, and Rena Charles Angelil at her side as she faces her most recent challenge. The artist most recently had to postpone multiple performances forcing her to cancel her 2023-24 tour. Celine said she would be returning tickets to supporters, but she didn't want to make them wait and then let them down. She also expressed her sadness at being unable to participate in the trip. She observed, While it aches my heart, it's essential that we cancel everything right away until I'm truly ready to come back on stage again, she said to the crowd. Celine allegedly forced to sell her $30 million mansion in Las Vegas due to the singer's expensive medical treatments. Since then, she has returned to her Canadian home. Celine will continue to battle SPS for the rest of her life, despite her optimism for a treatment that would allow her to continue performing.
What Celine Dion did to deal with the tragedies in her life. Celine's illness is obviously nothing to laugh at, but this isn't the first time the singer has encountered difficulty and maintained her composure despite confronting tough situations. She is currently putting on a brave face once more and taking things as they come since her SPS is improving every day. Fortunately, Celine has her three sons Nelson Angelil, Eddie Angelil, and Rena Charles Angelil at her side as she faces her most recent challenge. Given that she had a very difficult time becoming pregnant, she considers herself fortunate to have her children with her. Celine and her husband, Rene Angelil, had to turn to alternate means before she gave birth to her boys. The couple tried IVF, which delivered them their baby, after six years of attempting to conceive. Tragically, the couple miscarried after having Rena Charles. Fortunately, they got twins in 2010, whom they called Nelson and Eddie after Nelson Mandela and Eddie Marnay. Celine lost two of the people she loved most in the world six years after the birth of their twins. The singer lost Rene, her devoted manager and mentor, in 2016. She lost the love of her life to throat cancer. He was first given the all clear in 1999, but following a successful procedure, the cancer came back. Celine said she didn't like seeing him suffer near the end, but she missed her spouse so much. She therefore accepted his death, knowing that his suffering was over. She said that she was attempting to maintain her strength for her kids, in order to demonstrate to them that life can go on even in the wake of tragedy. Selene's brother also perished tragically from tongue, throat, and brain cancer just two days after Rene. Selene sought to maintain a good outlook, despite losing two persons who had meant the world to her, saying a few days after the devastating loss, brother was escorted by Rena. That was flawless, the entire story of Celine's three sons. The artist is happy to have her three sons at her side when her health condition deteriorates and her spouse leaves. Rena Charles, Nelson, and Eddie were cited as having provided her with a lot of support as she faced with her progressively stiffening muscles standing by her when she had to make difficult choices like canceling her tour. At Loxahatchee, Florida, on January 25, 2001, Selene gave birth to her oldest son, Rena Charles. The couple was overjoyed to finally bring Rena Charles into the world after many years of attempting to conceive and several IVF sessions. Selene talked openly about her oldest kid, calling him a wonder child. Rainy Charles is pursuing a career in music like his parents. In May 2018, he made his first two tracks available on SoundCloud. Celine was shocked to see her kid following something she also has a passion for as the songs shot to the top of the site's rankings. He had never before expressed his passion of music to his mother. Celine and Rene received their twin sons, Eddie and Nelson, following more IVF procedures and one loss. Rene disclosed the pregnancy and said the twins were a nice surprise. They were hoped to have one healthy kid, but they were suddenly expecting two. On October 23, 2010, in West Palm Beach, Florida, the twins were born. Tragically, Eddie and Nelson lost their father when they were just five years old, and Celine said that she used the Disney movie Up to explain his passing. Before to his burial, she gave them a party with a balloon theme and utilized a balloon analogy to communicate the idea. The delighted mother added that after Rene passed away, her twins comforted her. Thanks for watching my video.